Welcome or welcome back on I help at Cisco. In this example, we have a segment MP, which has these two endpoints. And then also that point K partition this segment in a ratio that is given here. And we are asked to find the coordinates of point K. For uh, that reason, I'm going to do just a short sketch to see how it looks like. We have the point M1 and 3, which should be somewhere like this. And P is... 15 and 8. This is the segment MP and we need to find a point K right here. Since this uh, value of the coordinates are not friendly, I'm going to use an algebraic method and I'm going to use these formulas you see here. The only difference here, you need to be careful, the, par the point that partition the segment is called K here. So I'm going to use K and the um, directed line segment is MP, so this will be M, and this will be P. So just to be consistent with our problem. So what do we get here? We're going to have XK equals xm is this one plus now what is m and what is n this is this two is m and this five is n so i have two over two plus five which is seven and then i have xp which is 15 minus xm which is one so we just replace the values in the formula and now we're going to simplify and we have 1 plus 2 over 7 15 minus 1 is 14 and here you may want to look for simplification 7 goes in 14 two times so my next step will be to do 2 times 2 right and that is 4 and we end up with an x k in fact of 5 so remember the partition is k not m and that's it for the x coordinate of point k in this problem similar we're going to do the y coordinate of point k we're going to replace in the second formula this one the value given and y sub m it's 3 plus we're going to have the same ratio, 2 over 7. And then we have 18 minus 3. 18 minus 3 here inside of the parentheses. So from here it's simplification. When you have 3 plus 2 over 7, 18 minus 3 is 15. And you notice here we cannot simplify. So we're going to multiply and we have... 2 times 15, that is 30, 30 over 7. And what we can do here is to change that natural number 3 in 21 over 7 plus 30 over 7. And that will be 51 over 7. So the y coordinate of point K is 51 over 7. So the point K has the coordinates 5 and 51 over 7 and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you